Hey everyone, lantern. This is your lantern. You also got a styrofoam block. You won't need this much. Um, I'm gonna show you how to measure what you need. Okay, and then we have a fica sleeve, a, um, the, the little fern thing. Y'all, I'm just, I'm tired today. Okay, and then this is a um, cedar spray and it has the berries and the little glittery stuff on it. And then you have this um, red ruscus. They're tree branches, it's supposed to be real feel tree branches. But I can't think of the name of it right now. All right. <laughs> so the first thing we're gonna do, okay, is we're gonna take like four of these. All right, I wanna spread them out. Okay, kind of spread out the little pieces like that. There. I picked this in particular because even though it's really pretty, it is kind of plastically looking. So I want to show you something you can do with these to make them look just a little bit better. All right, so you want to take your snow, shake it up really well. Like really well. All right, and then spritz it. You can kind of flip it over. It's that, 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 and that. Now I'm just barely spritzing, okay? I'm not doing heavy, just light. All right, then we're gonna take this and set it aside, let it dry for a few minutes, okay. You want to wipe it off any surface, whoops, gotta wipe my scissors y'all. Okay. I think I have other scissors, I do, okay, good. Alright. Oh, and I forgot to mention the ribbons. Right, so the two ribbons. Okay, now, unwrap your lantern. Okay. There should be a um, cardboard piece that is supposed to keep the glass from breaking. Okay, so just take that out. All right, I don't know what that is. Hmm. Okay, take the little piece off and take your tag off. All right, now pull up pull up your lantern piece like this. Okay. What you want is, let's see. Well, dog it. Don't push too hard, that little thing plops down. All right. You want about right here. So let me tell you what that is. About two inches. Okay. Okay. Take that piece off. We don't need that. There we go. All right. I'm 
put these aside. Save the rest of your, um, so about a two by two piece. Save the rest because you can actually take the rest of what you have left over and put your pieces in here. It should be enough. And you can decorate the inside. It's really up to you. Okay. Just go off this bag. Okay. There we go. All right now. I'm going to put some glue around this. Now, if you don't want to glue it on permanently, just don't put the glue, okay? Just put this piece. I want mine to stay on. All right, so I'm going to put it on there. Okay. I don't really need it to be this tall. I might have to cut a little bit off. So we're always going to send you way more than you need, so don't worry. Okay. There we go. Alright. So the first thing we're going to do is make our bow. You can also take this piece of cardboard and cut it up a little bit. Just to give you an idea here. Okay, take this out. Let's see. Okay, cut this. There. See how it fits in the bottom there? Then what you could do so I'm just showing you this in case you want to decorate the inside then you just glue your cardboard down glue this down to the cardboard and then you can put things on the inside. All right, we'll come back to that later. Okay, so tie that off. Hey, sweet lady. We're gonna make our bow. Okay, so we're gonna do our method where we put the two ribbons together. I want. Um, Do like 10 inch tails okay so we got them both together let's see I'm thinking about five inches yep okay so about five inch loops definitely plenty of material yeah okay and Five. Five. There. There. <laughs> okay. Then we're going to go to four. Okay, and then three. Okay, yeah, trim it up. All right. Let's get our zip tie. Make sure it stays in your indention. So remember to hold one side, shimmy it over, get it in the back, make sure it's still 
in line. Let's grab a little pipe cleaner. Put it in there. Tighten it. All right, so remember now we got to pull them out. So first things first, I want this tie on this side, this tie on this side, and they're gonna need to go like this because you don't wanna cover the front. Okay, so pull, yep, whoops, pull, ah. okay. I don't want to overwhelm with the bow. There. Ready. Alrighty. Oh, we'll switch these out. Let's take our tie out. All right, and I'm going to actually, I don't know if it's going to be long enough. I want to push this through this side. So I'm going to tie it underneath. Make sure I've got my stuff on the right sides. Yes. Okay, so I'm tying it underneath the styrofoam. I still feel like that styrofoam might be too thick. We'll see. going to do is we're going to start cutting all this. We're going to put it in that styrofoam. There's a couple of ways you can do this, all right? You can do the traditional swag way where you've got one down, one up, or you can do it kind of all the way around. It really is not crucial that you do it either way. You just do it the way that you like it. I think we're gonna do kind of three sides. So I'm going to separate these. Okay, I'm going to cut this stuff. Okay. These two longer ones are going to go on each side like this. Bend it over like that. Okay. I'm going to put it in 
the styrofoam like that. There we go. All right, same thing on the other side. There we go. Okay, and then break these up. Okay. All right, let's break these up. Okay. So I've got a two, a one. Those are ones, while well, this one's a three. Okay, so threes, twos, threes, twos, and ones. Okay, then we've got these ones. Okay, then we've got this whole pick. This one can be cut into threes. All right, so we really want to have the berries on either side. So this will be one here. Okay, like that. This is one here. So those two. Okay, and then these two. There we go. All right, now, let's go ahead and start putting some of this in. Okay, so I'm gonna kinda go to the corner. Push it in there. This one as well. You got the snippies? Yeah, I like the snippies. Yeah. A little bit crazy. Yeah, I had to take some Advil a little while ago. My head was just healing me. They want them here in the middle. There we go. All right. I'm gonna put my nose inches, my right eye. Right up here. Okay. There. You see how it kind of goes all the way around? This one. Let's put on this corner over here. Right here. There we go. All right. So now we've done our ring with the pine. Pine. Why couldn't I think of that earlier? Okay, so let's take, first let's take the threes, little threes. Now let's take the twos. Let's take the twos. Okay, let's, I'm gonna kind of put those up and pull them down. up kind of up at the top and then pull it down okay all right up at the top pull it down up at the top pull it down all right, now we're going to take some of the ones. <laughs> okay, right there. Okay, so we're going to kind of build it up a little. All right, right up here. I love putting ficus in these. They're just so drapey. I like drapey. Okay, whoops. 
I'm trying to get these random strings out of my glue. Well, it's because, you know, things are flying around in my room and the little pieces of the mesh get in there. Alright, so these three ones, it's very thin, so if it doesn't look like you can get it in, put it in the bow. So, just take it, put some in your bow, like this. Okay. Just like that. that. Alright, now I want to do this piece over on this side. Kind of put it up high there. Okay, Just like that. This one as well. Remember, you always want to spread these things out so that we get the full thing. Put it up there. All right. So when you're doing the lanterns, you only need the styrofoam if you're really going to do kind of a all-around design. If you're just going to do the swag where you drape one side and the other side, you don't need the styrofoam. So we're gonna take this piece, we're gonna put it in the back, there. Okay, this one is gonna go in the front. Look at that. All right. All righty. They're dry. Okay. So I'm going to put a couple together. Clip it. Now with this, you're either going to have to put a little glue on the tip or bend it over. I tend to like to do the glue because I'm just entirely too lazy to get my stuff out <laughs> and uh, bend the tip. So I just stick it in my glue. Because that works. So you just move your leaves back, pop it in the glue. These leaves are still a little bit wet, but they're not bad. So they might need, we'll see how long it takes. It says 15 minutes, but it dries totally in about four hours. So. I mean, I feel wet spots, but it doesn't seem to be coming off, so I don't feel a ton of wet spots, but I do feel some. I don't think we, I don't think we waited 15 minutes. Whoops! Alright. So see how pretty it is with the snow on it. Now we're going to be adding a totally different element to our piece with the red. Okay. Now you have a lot more of this. You could put it all in if you want. I think I want to put a little bit long. 
longer. And remember, this is how you use the really pretty pieces that look just a little bit plasticky. You just add a little something. You could also add glitter. You just take a little bit of adhesive spray or you can use glitter spray. You could put additional glitter on it. And that's how you can take pieces that are really the right color, but maybe look a little bit more plastic than you like. You just, you just fix it and then it's fine. There's always a trick. Where trick this thing? Tricks two things. Okay. Let's put a little bit back here. And up higher. There. This one gets so pretty. I'm gonna put one right back here. So this snow will do a lot. It's great to have this snow. This can of snow is gonna last you a, a pretty good long while. You can use it on quite a few projects. It's one of my favorite things just because it gives me such versatility with different designs. All right, we need a little bit of red right here. So you see how there's kind of no red right there? Well, right in here. So we'll take this one. Put it right in there. Look. And this one. Oops. Right in here. There. There you go. All right. Oh, that's so cute. If you want your tails to be seen more, pull them down underneath the greenery. You can also add additional tails if you want some tails coming down and remember you can put things inside so it would be really cute to take this styrofoam and maybe just a little bit more of some of this and make the similar little arrangement down in the bottom <laughs> okay look how pretty that is that's pretty my bow's kind of Looking funky. Let's pull that back up. There we go. All right, there we go. Oh, that's so pretty. All right, y'all, let me know if you have any questions, and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye, y'all.